Okay, so I've promised an explanation of, of this connection between two different ways of computing dot products, this kind of very straightforward it's kind of arithmetic formula uh, versus this geometric one um, using angles and magnitudes. And we'll get there, but first, quick computational example following the one in the textbook. Right? Uh, we just want to compute the dot products of these pairs of vectors. Right? One pair in two dimension, one pair in three, just to get the hang of working with this formula. Right? And it's, it's really not too bad. Um, we multiply the first components, so it's 1 times 3, and then the second, 2 times minus 1. Right? So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, and we get a dot product of 1. Okay? Uh, in the second pair, x dot y, and again, we kind of multiply the corresponding entries. So it's going to be 2 times minus 1, and then minus 2 times 0, and then 5 times 3. So we get minus 2 plus 0 plus 15 equal to 13. Right? And that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it at this point. Right? Um, so a quick computational example, we're going to talk a little bit about properties and then we're going to come and tackle this result here.